Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to use uh, Visual Studio Code to create Java project or also to create a simple Java file. So uh, to use the Visual Studio Code with Java, first of all, you have to install the Java GDK. So let's check that I have installed the GDK. To do this, I will start a command prompt. And here I will type the following command, which is Java hyphen hyphen version. And as you can see, I have already installed the Java GDK 16. So to see how to install the Java GDK, I, I suggest to see the video link that I provided in the description. Now that I have the GDK installed, let's go to Visual Studio Code. And here, as I said, I have the option either to create a simple Java class or to create a Java project. But to be able to do this, you should install an extension called the Java extension pack. So to install the extension, you have to go to this, to click on this button. And here you have to type Java extension pack. So let's type this. And as you can see, it has been suggested. So this is it, Java extension pack. I should install it. So let's click on it and let's click on install. Now it has been installed correctly. I can hide this by clicking on this button and I can even close this uh, window. Then let's go to the Explorer and here I can create either a simple Java class or a Java project. So to create a Java project, I have to click on this button or if I want just to create a simple Java class, I can click on open folder and I can create a new folder inside this folder. I can add the new class. So let's do the both options. Let's start by creating a new folder. Let's call it uh, Java, cla Java class. Now let's select it and let's click on select folder. So the folder is now open, but it is empty. So let's add a new class into this folder. Let's call it Java class dot Java, of course. And now this file is opened. Of course, there is a welcome page that is opened also. I can close it. And here I can type class and I can click on this second option for the code to be completed. I can remove this comment if I don't like it. And uh, here I can add the public static void main function. So I can just type main and click on this first option. So the code will be completed. Also, as you can see, there is this line that has been added. In fact, this is not a Java code. It is just a line composed of two buttons that allows me to execute this file. As you can see, there is no line number uh, here. So this is, so I can remove this first line. So this is the first line. This is the second line. This is, this does not have any number because it is not Java code. And here I can just type system out print LN. So I can select this second option for the line to be completed. And I can just type hello, hello Java one for example now let's save this file and to execute it i have three options either to make a right click and then to type run java so this file will be executed and this is the output the second option to run this file so i will just make a small modification to and the second option is to type on this button so let's do this so this is the new output and the third option to run this file. So I will make a third modification. I will save the file. So the third option to run this file is to go to this button and to, to run to click on this run and debug button. 
And as you can see, this is the output. So in this first part of the video, I show you how to create a Java class and how to execute it. So now I will uh, close this uh, folder and I will show you how to create a Java project using Visual Studio Code. So let's close the folder. And in this window, I can just type, click on this button. And instead of clicking open folder, I can just type create Java project. So I will choose no building tools and I will create a new Java project on the desktop. So the folder that I will create, let's call it uh, Java uh, project one. Let's select this folder. And now I have to provide to provide the project name. So let's call it my project one. And now, as you can see, the folder my project one is opened, but uh, so uh, here I can uh, click on source, which contains the different uh, the different uh, Java classes, and it contains already this Java class, which is the main, which contains the main function. So I can also close this welcome page. And uh, here I can, of course, uh, run this file. So as you can see, this line has been also added, which allows me to execute this uh, class. As you can see, I have also this Java project in the Explorer. It is a second option to explore the content of this project. So I can click here. And as you can see, in my project one, I have this source folder, which contains this class. So I have two options to explore the content of the uh, project folder, either using this Explorer or using this Explorer. So let's check the content of the folder that I have created and which is called Java Project 1. So as I said, I created this folder and inside this folder, I have my Project 1, which is the name of the project. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And uh, here I can just type on run to run this file. And as you can see, this is the output. So if I want to add a new class to this project, I can just select this source folder and to type, to click on this button, which allows me to add a new class. Let's call it, for example, mainframe.java and let's type on enter. So this is the file, it has been completed. So here I will just create a simple class that allows me to build Java frame. So let's add extends G frame. As you can see, there is a an error here. To fix this error, I have just to put the cursor on the, the word and to click on a quick fix. So the solution is to import the class and it has been imported as you, you can see. Now let's create a simple uh, method here, which is public void init which allows me to create the frame and for the content of this method i will just make a copy of three instructions which are the following i will give it a title a size when i close the one the, the frame the application will stop and i will make the frame visible so there is a mistake here. If I put the cursor here, I can click on quick fix and I can import the missing class. Now I cannot run this file because it does not have the main function. As you can see, when I click on run Java, I will have an error which says the file main uh, frame is not executable because it does not contain the main function. So let's go, let, let's save this file. And let's go to the app Java file, which is which has the main function. And here, let's call the main frame class. Uh, 
Now let's call the init function of this object. And now we can say we can run this file. So let's save it and now let's run it. As you can see, this is the obtained frame and the program is now running. If I close this frame, the application will be stopped. So uh, I show you in this video how to create a simple Java class and run it and also how to create a Java project. So I hope that this video is useful for you. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel.